Hi, my name is Andy Butcher and this video is an update to my previous video about Feedbro RSS Syndicator. This RSS Syndicator is a way of managing your YouTube subscriptions because YouTube got rid of their manager of subscriptions so we have to find alternative way of doing it. Another reason I'm doing this video is that I actually didn't use Feedbro that much. After I made the video, uh, I realized that Feedbro lack one of the huge features for me, which was uh, saving the structure of all the subscriptions. So what it caused is that after hours of categorizing my subscriptions into c categories, I went to my other computer and I realized that, oh no, <laughs> all my subscriptions are lost. I couldn't use them because they were on the other computer. So I thought, ah, oh, this is no good. And I stopped using it because the advantage of uh, subscriptions in your YouTube account is that wherever you come, you have the same subscriptions. But if you make this, if you categorize your subscriptions in a feed bro, you only have them on that particular computer. So I stopped using it. But since that time, feed bro had an update. And now you can actually save the structure of the subscriptions in a little file. You can email to yourself. And then when you're on, the, on another computer, you can just download that file. So you have the exact subscriptions on, on, on any computer you go to. And this is what I, I'd like to show you how to do. And another huge reason, huge, huge reason why you should use Feedbro is the new censorship of YouTube of some channels. Some channels got censored by YouTube and you can't receive all the videos of some creators. So you're basically not aware of them that they exist. And this circumvents this problem because RSS Feedbro will get all of your videos from the channel and all the updates. So let's see. First, I'd like to address uh, the complaint from the previous videos that I only focus on Chrome. So it's it's not difficult to go and search for Firefox Feedbro and you'll see that there's exactly the same thing as add-ons for for as add-ons for Firefox. Here you go, Feedbro. Let's go back to Chrome and this is uh, chrome.google.com and he get extend you can search for extensions so let's put feedbro here we go and this is it's where you find it my one is already added so you just add to chrome if you don't know how to add extensions to chrome you search youtube and how to add extension to chrome it's very easy this icon show is is a feedbro I, uh, I put a new installation there, open Feedbro, so you see it's completely untouched, it's a brand new installation. I'll show you how to add your subscriptions in YouTube. Also they changed a little bit, so, so they do a little bit different from the previous video. So we go YouTube, and here we go to all the way to the bottom. Well, here you see my I already have 900 channels, I think. Uh, so long, look how long it takes to load. Okay, so here you go to the very last channel. You go browse channels. And here you go. Then you go here to second tab. Can you see? Yeah, here's second tab, manage subscriptions. Oh yeah, 800, 874 subscriptions. So I beat my previous video by about 100. Let's go to the very bottom. And here you go, export to RSS readers. So what you do, you click this button. And this will download a little file. Go back to Feedbro. And this is how you import all your subscriptions from YouTube. So go here to settings. We have import feed subscriptions as OPML. 
you go to desktop where I I move move the file to and try to find it subscription manager open if it's successfully imported okay now when you go back to feedbro you will see them all there it's a YouTube subscriptions just reads them they're all there it's all channels and he shows you how many videos are available many many channels so what do we do here we want to organize them how do we do that this little icon here says add new folder so add new folder you name it for example gardening another folder I don't know uh, autism another folder politics good so there we go and we can just drag and drop Stefan Molyneux politics go politics drag and drop and add new folders as, as needed and uh, agriculture let's go it will be gardening another thing which is very important is how you subscribe to channels so when you are, when you are on YouTube and you subscribe to a channel it will not affect your feed bro so what you need to do when you come across a new channel for example um, go to my home let's let's find some channel i'm not subscribed to so let's go to uh, dinesh de souza am i subscribed to him let's see okay i'm not i'm not subscribed to dinesh so what do i do i come here to feed bro click it here and find feeds in current tab it found the feed it's atom feed and we can select which folder it goes to so root autism politics it's clearly politics subscribe that's it we're done so you no know more subscribe here you can of course to show support but it will have no effect on your feed bro so you subscribe through feed bro so you get all the updates and you ensure that YouTube doesn't censor some of the videos that you want to watch. So let's subscribe and show, show support. Same with unsubscribing. If you unsubscribe on YouTube, it will have no effect on Feedbro. So we go and ups, un, unsubscribe here. So if you want to get rid of some feed, come here. Let's say ukulele orchestra. We don't want to receive anything from them anymore. Right click, delete. Are you sure you want to delete the feed? Okay, I want to delete the feed. There will be no more there. It disappeared. So, this is basically how you use FeedBro. Another thing is how to transfer the feeds and subscriptions from one computer to the other. So, this is what we do. Remember our, our folder structure here. We have gardening, autism, politics. So, we come here again. Okay. I go export feed as subscriptions. All right, so it's called Field Bro subscriptions, and uh, come back to Field Bro, and let's delete them all. Come here, delete feeds and folders. Yes, I want to delete them all. Okay. Here, proof they are all gone. There's nothing there. It looks like brand new installation again import feed subscriptions where was it feed bro let's seek feed bro where is it here we go <clears throat> open feed successfully imported here. and here we have them all youtube sus subscription and my three folders <clears throat> with all the feeds I had before. Fantastic. 
I think so. <clears throat> this is how you, how you also transfer things to other computer. So th this file that I just imported, you can just email yourself to your email. And then later, when you come to a different computer, you can just download the file and again, install FeedBro and uh, import all the feeds and subscriptions. I hope you liked the update, how to use FeedBro. And also, I try not to use screencast because I'm a creature of convenience and I prefer to edit just one file over, over two files or three files done uh, with screencast. So let me know if it's watchable and let me know in the future if, if it's too much strain on your eyes or it's okay to watch it sort of over my shoulder. Thank you.